Fractions shouldn't be confusing, but they can be confusing. And sometimes the reason is notation. After all, we have three different ways to denote fractions. Four if you count negative powers. And we like mixing them together. So it's no wonder that sometimes that leads to a little bit of confusion. But I don't think that notation is the main reason for our difficulties with fractions. I think that a much more significant reason is that fractions really require us to have a perfectly clear understanding of the algebraic structure of the expression. We'll discuss this over several videos, but in this video we'll start with this relatively straightforward example. And if you look at this expression and think, that's easy, great, but will you feel the same way about this example? And if you find yourself hesitating, then you will really benefit from our talking about this problem. So let's do it. What are we looking at here? What do we have here? Well, we clearly have a fraction over a fraction. What makes that clear? Well, it's the fact that this bar is wider than the other two. That's the only indicator. This wider bar keeps two and three together on top and four and five together on the bottom, forming a fraction of four-fifths. That's the overall structure of this expression. It's something, it doesn't even matter what, over a fraction of four-fifths. That's the overall structure of this expression. Something over a fraction. And once we've assessed the overall structure of the expression, the rest is easy, because we know that when we're dividing by a fraction, we must multiply by its reciprocal. We must flip it and multiply by it. Why does that work? Well, that's a different story for a different video. For now, let's just use it as a rule. So we have to divide the top, which is two-thirds, by four-fifths. In other words, we have to multiply it by five-fourths. All right, so the result is 10 twelfths or 5 sixths. All right, so remember to always begin by assessing the overall algebraic structure of the expression and ignoring the details. In this example, the details are what the specific numbers are. And the important structure is that we have something over a fraction. As soon as you recognize the structure of the expression, the problem is as good as solved. Hey, thanks for watching. Click on this logo to check out our complete SAT math platform. And if you know someone studying for the SATs, please let them know about it. Thank you. Hey, got another very first.